People think that they're going to be healthy by giving up red meat and instead eating poultry and fish. Stop and think about this for a minute. What are meat, poultry, and fish? They're muscles of animals. In one case, they have to move a limb. In another case, they flap a wing. In another case, they wiggle a tail. They're the same. High fat, high protein, high cholesterol, no dietary fiber, high in the food chain, so heavily polluted. From the standpoint of the effect of the protein and fat and those foods and their effect on health, it really doesn't matter. It's dose dependent, not type dependent. So fish is not healthier. In many cases, it has more fat than chicken and pork. But you have other issues with fish too. In the ocean, you have this whole hierarchy of things eating things that eat things that eat things. And so you concentrate all the pollutants in the ocean, including mercury, and fish like tuna that are some of the favorite that we like to eat. So fish is really not healthier. Don't kid yourself in thinking that if you're eating fish and chicken, you can eat more of it. Because one thing in common with these healthy populations around the world that do eat a little bit of animal food, whatever type they're choosing, it's really a tiny, tiny percentage of what they're eating in the diet. So fish doesn't get a free pass. A lot of people are being told to eat fish by cardiologists or to take fish oil. Uh, that's the other thing by cardiologists who say that if you do that, you'll increase your HDL cholesterol. And here's the problem with that. It, it's true, by the way. It just doesn't make any difference. Studies are pretty clear that in populations with very low incidence of heart disease, total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and HDL cholesterol are very, very low. So that's the wrong reason to eat fish or to take fish oil capsules is to increase your HDL cholesterol. Work on getting all of your cholesterol low.